As discussed in the booklet, visual supports can be put together to form visual systems, and these are an effective way of helping to develop communication skills. Let's have a look at some examples of these visual systems in action. Daily Schedule Daily schedules can provide the child with a sense of security and control because they can see how their day is planned and structured instead of feeling anxious because things seem to be happening randomly to them. First of all, let's have a look at our timetable, Grace. On the timetable first, the arrow is pointing to the puzzle. And then after the puzzle, we're going to do some songs. And after the songs, it's morning tea time. And then after morning tea, it will be swimming. And then after swimming, it's lunch. And after lunch, it will be table activity. And then it will be home time. But now it's time to do a puzzle. Should we go and pick a puzzle? The items in the schedule, and in any visual systems, can be represented as object symbols, photos or computer line drawings as appropriate. Good girl, we're finished now, you need to pack away. Well done. Now we have finished, can you show Tip how we do finish? We've finished the puzzle, now it's time to do some songs. Which song shall we do? Mini schedule. Sometimes there are lots of steps within an activity which are not shown on the daily schedule. This can prove confusing to the child. For example, get ready is very general, but put your lunchbox in the fridge, or put your communication book on the teacher's desk, or hang up your bag, defines the precise steps necessary. So a mini schedule complements the schedule by breaking down the steps involved in the scheduled activity. First then board. A first then visual system informs the child about the sequence of events they're expected to participate in. Yes, first story, then computer. So this one's first. Can you go and pick two for book? Can you go and get two for book? It helps the child transition from one activity to another as they know what they'll be doing next. It can also motivate the child to complete a non-preferred task, especially if it's followed by a preferred activity. This is about the zoo. Do you want to have a turn on the slide next time? Okay. Now we've finished our story. To pack the story away. And now what time is it for? Computer. Would you like to go on the computer? PEX stands for the Picture Exchange Communication System. It has been designed to help children and adults with autism and other developmental disabilities to learn how to initiate communication.
from a range of pictures, they take the picture which represents the choice they want to make to their teacher or the person they're talking to and exchange it for the item represented in the picture. Here Grace has chosen computer as the activity she'd like to do. Choice making. As Jaden can already initiate communication with another person by sometimes saying what he wants and or pointing or giving the picture of the item he wants, a less structured approach can be used and he can be presented with a simple choice of two or more pictures. Labels. Labeling the environment can help maintain structure and organization of the environment by labeling shelves, activity areas and storage containers. This helps the child to remember where things go and help with putting things back in the right place. Here Grace is doing a fun activity called a label walk where she matches the label to the object. As you can see, she's matching the written word mirror with the real object mirror. Calendar. A calendar is a visual system that helps teach the meaning of time, e.g. days of the week, as they build a concrete link to the past, present and future. You can mark main activities, appointments, holidays, events, trips and other important days such as birthdays. Here Tiffany is using signs and pictures in conjunction with speech to talk about the activities shown in the calendar. What's Wednesday? Wednesday, look, we're at the library. Let's do Thursday. Remember, the focus is not the visual system, but the interaction that happens around it. On Friday, we need to go to the movies. Right, let's have a look. This is Monday. What do we do on Monday? Library. Library, and we read a book. Good boy. Who reads us a book? Who does our reading? Mm. Sitting down. Mm. Who does our reading? Mim. Oh, this one here. Mim does our reading, doesn't she? What's that? Swimming in seconds. Uh, Jaden, hands down, sitting on your bottom. Jaden, Mim reads our books, doesn't she? She read our Easter books yesterday. Or oh, looking, today is Tuesday. What do we do today? Swimming pool. Swimming pool, good talking. Mrs Atkins does swimming. Can you show me what you do at swimming? Notice how Andrea adds comments and asks questions about each day's activity, helping to develop Jaden's language, understanding of concepts and descriptive words. Assembly, good boy. And we have to sit quietly. And we have to listen. Who do we have to listen to? Alyssa's page. Sit quietly and listen to Mrs. Page, don't we? Mm -hmm. Oh, and on Thursday, what do we do? I guess. More swimming with Mrs. Atkins, good boy. And then on Friday, okay. what happens Friday? Okay. Phys Ed. Phys Ed with, with me. Mm. What do we do at Phys Ed? Yes. Oh, we have music. Yes. Yeah, and we do jumping. What else do we do? And he. Oh, and bouncing on the trampoline. That's right. Good boy. So there's our Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Finished. Boy. Activity checklist. After morning tea, it's going to be swimming. Yeah. And when we get ready for swimming, we need to find our towel, our bathers, and our sunscreen, and we need to put it in our bag. An activity checklist is a visual system that identifies the materials or items needed to carry out an activity. Now, where's your towel on here? Now you need to pop it in your bag. Can you pop it in your bag? Sit. 
Children who have difficulty organizing themselves to do something find activity checklists extremely beneficial. It helps the child get ready for the activity as independently as possible. Let's chat. The Let's Chat book is a tool that can be used to have an interactive chat about topics that are meaningful and interesting to the child. What do you do at home? Can you show Tiff's sign for home? Home. What do you do at home? Lunch. Grace likes dressing up. And then you can do some art. Yeah. And then where did you go? This says I went. The aim here is to help Grace talk about her actual experiences, what she did last night or over the weekend, a trip, a party, etc., to encourage her to talk about these. And this one's a park. Which one did you do? You went to the park. Good signing, Grace. Good girl. And when you went to the park, what did you wear? What did you wear at the park? By basing the information on topics that are important, meaningful and motivating to the child, it's a great way of tapping into the child's interest and helps develop a positive attitude towards literacy and communication. Did you go with Bailey? Bailey? And then what did you do? After you finished at the park? Did you go home again? And then when you went home, you had a big rest. <laughs> Summary and conclusion. Visual systems should be used throughout the day as communication is an integral part of life, so it's best learned and practiced as part of everyday routine. Each visual system should be individualized to meet the needs of the child. You may need to consider the number of objects, photos or computer line drawings that your child can use at a time. Be sure to give your child enough time to focus on the visual support. The visual system should be easily accessible for the child and portable. If the child has difficulty with mobility, then you will have to determine ways that the child can access their visual systems as independently as possible. If you're unsure how to begin to use visual systems with your child at home, contact a speech pathologist.